as you build models with dbt core you're going to find yourself developing and building in your code editor and copying and pasting it into your database server to look at the results and validate the data but as of version 1.5, there's now a new command called show that allows you to inline within the terminal, see your results. So in this video, I want to show you how you can do that so you don't have to keep hopping back and forth to look at your results and you can instead just do it right within your editor. All right, so real quick, before we hop into the code itself, here's a preview of the documentation. It's very simple. It's just a dbt show command. It's just like a dbt run, dbt build, dbt test, and it's going to compile the SQL definition of these different objects, model, test, analysis, run it against the database, and then preview the results in the terminal. And as it says, by default, it's only five rows. We're gonna talk about this. And I think what's important to note here is that the results of the preview query are not materialized in the data warehouse. They're not stored in any file. They're simply logged and display in the terminal. So it's just something to think about as you go through this. So with that said, there's two ways we can do this, and I'm gonna walk through each of these here. Let's now hop right into the code. Okay, so I'm here in my project and I have some models here. And all I wanna do, we're gonna keep this simple. Let's say I wanna see the results of the customer's model I'm building, I'm making changes. To do this, the command, as we said, is dbt, dbt show. And then you would use the selector operator, just like you were running or testing. So I'll do s customers to pick that result. And let's see what happens. It's gonna to connect to the database. It's using my default target. And in line here, right away, we can see the results. Here are the first one, two, three, four, five, six columns. It can't show all of them. There are more. I think there's just probably a limitation on how much you can go with wise here. But at the same time, we are now seeing results directly right here. And what you can notice here again in the documentation here that the default is five, but what you can do is you can use the limit flag to adjust the number of rows that are returned. So let's see how we would do that. So let's say we do dbt show again, but this time we do dash dash limit and let's say 10. I imagine you don't want to do too many here just because it's in line, it's in the terminal. So take that as you will. But here now we can see 10 results and it's printing it out for us directly in line in the terminal. And to me, that is a great feature, especially if you just want to quickly troubleshoot things that are going on. So as we mentioned here, we don't see all the columns and maybe there's other ones we want to look at or we don't really care about all these. We want to pick specific ones. And as we see here, there's another option here for the inline instead of select to essentially write a query and use the ref function and pass that in to pick certain columns. So maybe we wanna pick specific columns that we wanna look at. So I'm gonna copy this and let's paste this in here, but instead of model name, I'll do customers and let's run this. It's gonna select all, but it probably will still be limited. All right, and again, we can see it's just a few columns. So when would this actually be useful? Well, one, you might wanna just pick specific columns like we said, but let's say there's a test failure. Let's say in this case, I know there's a test on this has to be positive. Multiply this by negative zero so that it fails. So I'll do Customers, I'm gonna deploy this because I know it's gonna fail. Now let me do a dbt test. Now I could have done a dbt build there if you're familiar with that term and it would have done both at the same time. So we see this failed and we wanna quickly validate the data. Now in the past, what we would do is probably look at the compiled code, hop over to our server and try to figure this out. But what we can do now instead is we can still run this and it's not going to materialize this and have any issues. We can do this separately. So let me push up here and go inline and instead of doing select star from customers we can write this as a select statement and just pick what we want so let's say customer name and now we want to look at total revenue in usd so we just want to look at those maybe we can quickly identify ones that are negative because we know that's the failure and here we can see i mean we did multiply all of them so they're all negative except for zero and you can see at least in line here what the problem is we could add even more here in theory, what you could do where total revenue in USD less than zero. And we could even add this in here to see what that looks like. You can customize that if you want. And here you can get the result. So you could effectively copy and paste your test scenario and see the results in here. So you can see how this subtle dbt show command can actually be extremely helpful for you in your workflow and keep you working within your editor as opposed to having to hop back and forth between your different tools. So hopefully you found this helpful and you can start to use this to preview the data while you're working in dbt core. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you at the next video.